Hi, this is Gary with MacMost. Now, on today's episode, let's take a look at smart playlists in iTunes. So, I've mentioned smart playlists many times before, but I've never done an episode specifically on them. So, you're here in iTunes, and on the left, you have your library music, movies, TV shows, etc. You've got links to the store, you've got shared iTunes libraries as well. And at the bottom you've got playlists. Now there are two different types of playlists. One is a playlist that you create. You can press the plus button down here and create a normal playlist and you can see the icon there. And you can drag and drop music into that normal playlist. And it will just appear there in any order that you want it. Go into that playlist. There it is. Smart playlists are searches really that have certain criteria. For instance, you can do most recently played or songs only by a certain artist or songs of a certain type. You've got some default playlists here and we can start by examining those. So for instance, let's take a look at the recently played smart playlist. Now this has three songs in it right now and these are the last three songs that I played. So how did it know that? Well, if I were to control click or right click on the smart playlist, I can edit it. And this is a great introduction to Smart Playlist because you can see exactly how this one is set up. It's set up here with some search criteria. It has to match all the following rules. Those rules are last played was in the last two weeks and the median kind is not a podcast. So only music or videos. Then below that you also have uh, to limit to only 25 items. So if I listen to say 30 songs in the last two weeks it would only show me the most recent 25. Um, Checked items. There's a little check marks next to songs. I can say only the ones that are checked uh, get included in this. I can also say how to select the 25 that I'm going to limit. So, for instance, I can have just random 25 songs I've recently recently listened to, or uh, by a rating, by most recently played. So, in other words, sort them. Uh, I can even do like most often played. So, the 25 most recent songs, and out of those, the ones that are most often played. Then down here you have one of the most important things. You have live updating. If that's not checked. It will simply do the search now, populate the playlist, and the playlist will remain the same. But with that checked, that means the playlist will change automatically. Let me demonstrate. If I were to go here into music and I will play just a song, and I'll actually let it complete. I'll just jump to the end. Now, if I go into the recently played. I can see it's added that song to it automatically. I didn't have to do anything to actually change the playlist. It automatically adds it. And any other playlist, smart playlists, that would add that song because I just recently played it or maybe just recently rated it or played it more often than others would automatically update. These are always updating depending upon different actions you take in iTunes. So let's create one. Let's go to File, New Smart Playlist. And now I got that same window here but it's kind of blank. Uh, it's just going to match the following rule. There's only one rule. And it starts off with something like Artist Contains. So I can just say let's do a playlist with all the Beatles songs. Um, or I can change it to something else. Like for instance let's do a playlist where the name only contains a single word in it. It creates an odd playlist for me. Or I could do something where a composer or an artist or even a year matches something. So let's go and just select, say, uh, genre, and let's have it is, and then we'll do rock. Now, if I want to add another item, I can hit the plus button here and say genre is rock, and let's do a uh, year is less than 2000. So earlier rock, and then I'm going to limit to only 25 items selected by most recently added um, and have live updating. And that will create my smart playlist. The other thing I could check here is it's matching all of these. I can also have it match any of these. So I could say genre is rock or I could say genre is blues to create a playlist that has both rock and blues. And then in this case I may want to say just some random songs, 25 of them, and stick them in there. And that time, that way, every time I play the playlist, it's going to choose another 25 random rock or blues songs. So here's a quick look at smart playlists. One of the best things about them is that they sync with your iPod or iPhone. 
So you could create a smart playlist of say your most recently added songs and every time you sync it's going to sync that playlist as long as you have it selected in iTunes as a playlist that you want to sync to your device. And then it would automatically update. So every time you sync you'll reestablish that playlist on that device with your most recently added songs. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.